Hello everyone. In this lecture, let's try to interface a common cathode 7 segment display to our microcontroller PIC 16 f 877A. So, I will go to the components tab and I will type 7 seg. And here is the MPX1 that is the common cathode that is mentioned by CC. Double click that. This is the 7 segment display that we are going to use. I am placing the microcontroller on the 7 segment display. I need a ground for the 7 segment display. As we know in the common pin of the common cathode we will be giving ground that we discussed in the last lecture. Now I will connect the A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H to the RC0 to RC7. And that's it. The circuit is complete. Now we will go for the programming part in the MPLAB X IDE. So before that, in the previous lecture, before that, in the previous lecture, we just discussed and derived the hexa values for numbers from 0 to 9. So these are the hexa values that we derived for common cathode display for displaying numbers from 0 to 9. So what I have done is I have taken these values and I have added that to a array. So segment segment of 0 will be having a hexa value 0x3f that will display number 0 in the 7 segment display. So segment of 1 will display 1 and similarly segment of the corresponding number will display the respective number in the 7 segment display. So first thing is we just want to make the RC0 to RC7 pins as output that is the port C as output. For that I can write tris C equal to 0x00. This will make the port C only as an output. And for displaying numbers from 0 to 9, what I am going to do is, I will just display numbers from 0 to 9 with a time interval for each number as 1 second. For that, I will write a loop for i equal to 0, i less than 10, i plus plus. I have declared this i variable over here. Now inside this, I will write segment of port C equal to segment of I and after that I will call the delay MS function with 1000 millisecond delay. So remember that for using this you just want to declare this macro extra frequency so here you can see when i give a value of segment of 0 to port c the value 0x3f is given to the port c that will display the number 0 in the 7 segment connected to it. Similarly, when I give a value of segment of 1 to the port C, that will display 1 in the 7 segment display. So, what I have done is, I have written a loop that will run from 0 to 9 and when it reaches 10, again it will start running from 0 to 9 as I have written this loop inside the while of 1. So when the i equal to 0, the i is less than 10, it will check for this condition, yes 0 is less than 10. So the control enters into this loop and port c is assigned with segment of i. 
Now the I value is 0. So segment of 0 is assigned to port C. So segment of 0 is 0x3f. So the 7 segment will display number 0. And it will wait for 1 second. And again the variable is incremented and the condition is checked. So the variable becomes 1 and 1 is less than 10 is true. Now the segment of 1 is assigned to port C. So segment of 1 is 0x06 and this will display number 1 in the 7 segment display. And it, again it will wait for 1 second and i will become 2 and the condition is true again because 2 is less than 10 and the number 2 will be printed. And when the condition reaches 10, this condition will be false and the control comes out of the loop. And again you can see there is no other thing available inside the while of 1. So the control comes over here again and the i variable is initialized and the loop runs again. Now I will build this code. Okay, build is successful and this program will print 0 to 9 numbers in the 7 segment with a time interval of 1 second repeatedly until the program is stopped. I will load the program to the microcontroller, double click over it, change the frequency to 20 and click on this icon, go to the respective folder, go inside the disk, default, protection and click on the project and click on open. Now click on OK. Now I am running the simulation using the play button in the left bottom corner of the window. You can see the numbers from 0 to 9 is being printed on the 7 segment display. And if you are using a common cathode display, you just want to use the hexa values that we derived over here. The only change in the circuit that we want to make is we just want to connect a positive rail to the common pin of the 7 segment display. And that's it. For uploading the program onto the microcontroller, firstly, power up the development board using external 12 volt 1 amps adapter through this socket provider. And then connect the picket 3 to your PC USB port using mini USB cable. Then the terminals of picket 3 are connected to the microcontroller as per this circuit diagram. If your development board is not showing these pinouts or if you are not having a development board, you can connect the terminals of picket 3 to the microcontroller port pins as per this circuit diagram. Or you can just build this circuit in a breadboard for programming the microcontroller. Once the circuit is built, click on this make and program device main project icon. You can see the device is being programmed. Click on OK. and the program and verification is complete. And that's it. The program has been uploaded to your microcontroller. Now, build this circuit to see the output in the hardware. And you can see this is the output that I got in my hardware. Thanks for watching.